Did you know that there are people that think the Earth is this shape? I can't believe it. I'm actually very intrigued by the whole flat earth theory. Um, I'm not at all convinced. I've seen so many videos and read a bunch of forums on it. Um, but the earth is plainly round. That is how it has been, it's how it's always been, and it just cannot be flat. So I just want to go through and mention six main points um, of flat earth theory. Some of them will be asking questions to any flat earthers out there. Others I will be showing why it can't work. So the first one is a quote from a flat earther himself. What this person was talking about is gravity. According to flat earthers, gravity doesn't exist. There are two things here. Either the flat earth disk is accelerating upwards in space at 9.81 meters per second, which is how fast gravity is, or this other one that I found was due to densities. So you see you get a glass of water, and a lead ball. You put that in, the lead ball sinks. So that's kind of like how it works. Humans are heavier than air, so we sink. That's why we stay on the ground. But the quote was, everything falls because of density. Um, and so with this, I've got an experiment. I have a hammer, that is metal, and a plastic mouse. Don't ask me why it's these things. These are the first things I found. But these two are obviously different densities. So if I drop these at the same time, you'd expect this one to hit the ground first because it is more dense than the mouse. But that's not the case. I'm going to drop them at a reasonable height from the same time. Ready, go. If you caught that, they actually hit the mattress at the same time. Now I'm going to drop them from a higher place. I dropped them from about two and a half meters at the same time they hit the mattress at the same time. So that proves that gravity is a constant and that if you drop anything, even if they're different densities, they'll hit the ground at the same time. That's why the density theory doesn't work. So this next one is going to be a question to the flat earthers if you're watching. Basically, if gravity doesn't exist, basically, so this is a flat earth, if gravity doesn't exist, and the disc is either stationary and the density is what's causing the gravity or the disc is accelerating upwards in space then the sun and the moon which are apparently the same size underneath this dome that's over the earth how do the sun and moon kind of spin around like that above the surface of the earth it doesn't make any sense if gravity doesn't exist then what force is allowing for them to do that because they can't do that on their own, just by themselves like that. So that to me doesn't make any sense, that's just the question. So if you can answer that for me, give me an explanation, I'll be uh, glad to hear it. Okay, now the third thing that I have is the curvature of the earth. Can you see it? Well, it is there and I can prove it, but it's very, very hard to see because if you're standing at sea level and you can see the horizon all around you, so there's nothing to block your view, you see roughly 80 square kilometers of the Earth's surface or 0.00002% of the surface of the Earth, which is incredibly small. And so the Earth compared to you is so, so big. And so seeing the curve on just that amount is very, very unlikely. But I took this footage just before. I live right on the edge of a cliff, and you see, I've put this dot on the screen that is in line with the horizon, that as I start to slowly move, I'll just rotate the camera around, you can see the dot dips below the horizon. Now I spent quite a long time trying to get the tripod as level, the camera as level as I can, so there's no errors, there's no mistakes, but you can see that the dot does just dip below the horizon slightly. 
All right, so I'm going to get on to NASA now. They're a big space agency. They are apparently in on the flat earth theory. Everything they do is CGI. Um, uh, just recently, Cassini just um, fell into Saturn, which I think is really cool. We're going to collect some data, but apparently that didn't happen. You know, it's all fake CG. But why? What is the point in faking everything, faking the round earth? There just really isn't any point. And one thing that a lot of flat earthers say is that every picture of the earth is photoshopped and that is true, 100%. But as, a, as someone from NASA said, it has to be. Because we can't get further enough away, except for when we went onto the moon, other than that we can't get further enough away to take one whole picture of the earth. So as satellites go around the earth, they take a series of pictures and then they're sent down to Earth and they are photoshopped, like stitched together to give you the Earth. That's the reason why the photos have to be photoshopped, not because they're taking the picture of the flat Earth and making it into a round Earth. Alright, so I've got another question for the flat Earthers out there. Other planets and stars, what are they? And if they exist, why have we, say, amateur footage of like Saturn and Jupiter and stuff like that? Why are they not flat? I've heard that these are projections or something on the dome, which does not make any sense to me, so if you have an answer to that, I would really like to hear that. And then finally, for the last point I want to make, is the Coriolis effect. Now, me and a friend have actually tested this before. You can find the video on my channel, you can find it on his channel, I'll link it in the description if you want to find it. But we actually test to see if the Coriolis effect is real. And it was, and it worked the way that we expected it to work. Now, in nature, you can actually get whirlpools, one spinning one way and the other spinning the other way, right next to each other. That has happened before. But, you see, those were induced by uh, direction to start off their spin with the Coriolis effect that me and a friend tested, we actually filled up a thing of water and let it settle and sit for almost 24 hours. And that allowed for no direction to be started off. So, so that for me proves that the Earth is spinning and that is basically why the Coriolis effect happens for Northern and Southern Hemisphere. Now that's just basically some of the things of the flat earth, there's so many more I can go into, that's all I'm willing to just for today. So to all the flat earthers out there, I don't mean to offend you, I'm very very intrigued by the theory but I just do not think it is true, I just don't see how it can be. But um, anyway, comment section below is there to discuss, let's try to keep it tame, let's not be mean to anyone or attack. Um, but anyway, if you did enjoy that video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this.